Hello, everybody. Good afternoon. How are you, Sante family? Can I show a wave of hands, please? Kung narinig nyo ako, hello, hello hi. Good afternoon. It's another exciting afternoon, and uh, I see a lot of you actually record breaking. 100. 100 na puno before 1, 1 p.m. No, iba talaga ang uh, dating ng ating uh, guest speaker for this afternoon. No, and uh, for those who cannot join us, please inform them that we're also broadcasting sa FB, ano, Facebook Live, no, dito sa Sante Engage uh, Facebook page. No, they can catch this sa Sante Engage Facebook page live. Okay, so guys, it's another uh, exciting event dito sa what we call our Sante Engage webinar series. No, and we have a very special guest. Um, I'm pretty sure you know who this is, but let me um, introduce to you formally yung ating guest. No, and uh, uh, before that, of course, I'd like to welcome everybody here, our leaders, our Sante Elite uh, Global uh, uh, Leaders, our Sante Elite Leaders also, they're here. Uh, of course, our um, our CEO is here, no? Joey Marcelo, and I think uh, some of the NetDev team and marketing team is here. And, uh, and of course, the leaders of the various teams, no? they're all here to listen and learn. It's another a great learning opportunity for all of us. And without further ado, let me forward na, and let me introduce to you our speaker. Actually, our speaker natin napakagaling, no? Our guest for today is a well-respected and well-known motivational speaker on money, mindset, and success. He's popularly known as Chink Positive. He is also a radio, TV, and social media personality the radio anchor and host of Radio 592.3 News, FM's award winner of the best special program of the 20th KBP Golden Dove Award for Change Positive. He writes daily blogs for his personal website and his FB page, which has 2.5 million followers by now. You can also follow him <laughs> on Twitter and Instagram. And by the way, Change Positive is on YouTube. The channel Sha already has more than 684,000 subscribers and counting. He has authored best-selling books, among which are Till Death Do Us Part, Practical Steps to Financial Freedom, For Richer and For Poorer, and Rich God, Poor God. He is a longtime friend and mentor of the Sante family. It's my honor and privilege to introduce to you Mr. Chink Positive. Please welcome. Chinkitan. Chinky? Yan. So maraming maraming salamat po. Thank you very much for tuning in. Thank you very much, Joey, Marcelo, and Paul Kalua for inviting me to the Sante family and to this meeting. And I pray and wish that everyone is doing good and great. Sana naman na sa mabuti kayong kalagayan kung kahit nasa aman kayong dupalok ng mundo. And I'm pretty excited about Chinky? our session right now. So Paul, kamusta? Ikaw muna mag-host. Ikaw muna mag-ano. Interview mo na lang ako. So maraming maraming salamat um, po. Thank you very much oh, for it. All right. Thank um, you very much. We are Joey, all here Marcelo, right now. And Paul Palua um, uh, for inviting me. We are adapting to the new norm. Eh, ka nga, no? um, we are all, of course, house-based. We are all doing our business from home. And in fact, uh, it's something new. But buti na lang ka mo. Blessing kasi napakaraming uh, infrastructures that are already in place ng Sante na nagawa namin para nun makagawa ang mga business owners natin ng business from home. No? And um, actually, may mga questions dito, Chinky. No? Um, okay lang ba if uh, I, I rattle to you some questions? No? Um, these are from the distributors. Maybe you can take it from there also. No? Um, okay. Ian, Ian. Uh, wait. Ha? Ito yung mga yes, question, sir. okay? Chinky. Uh, right. Sige, ito. I have a question here, no? This is actually from Erica Santos. Chinky, how to how do we influence people to fight fear and anxiety during this pandemic? Mm. Alam mo, lahat tayo eh. Ito na lang, let's start with this, no? Lahat tayo ay apektado. Everyone's affected. Uh, some business actually right now are suffering losses. They're bleeding. Because you just imagine, no? Imagine mo. Walang benta, pero tuloy-tuloy pa rin ang bayad ng upa, overhead, sweldo ng tao, taxes. Tuloy-tuloy yan. Uh, may mga iba naman na traba trabaho na kumikita, di ba? napapasweldoan, they work from home. 
unfortunately, they have to suffer a pay cut of 20%, 30%, or some even 50%. Uh, that's good for them. If you retain, if you have a job right now, that's good. Pero may mga iba talaga na walang din ang trabaho. So right now, talaga, we are going into times of uncertainty. Marami talaga. And then from a health crisis right now, it's right now transferring to a financial crisis. So mahirap talaga no yung yung pinagdadaanan natin lahat. Hindi lang kayo apektado pero lahat. As a matter of fact, I was talking to a billionaire. Sinabi niya the rich people right now will lose at least 50% of their wealth. 50% of their wealth. Kung ang wealth nila is 1 billion dati, siguro pagkatapos ng crisis ito kung di, na, di natin alam kung hanggang kailan, half 500 million na lang ang magiging wealth niya. Kasi tatandaan niyo ah uh, the bigger you are, the harder you fall. Napakapalad yung nga mga tagasante. Kasi you just imagine this. Ang laki ng advantage nyo right now. Before I answer that question, number one, wala kayong binabayaran na monthly overhead sa ika nga upa. Wala kayong tinatawag na operational expense. Wala kayong pinapasuelduhan na tao. Diba? So, hindi kayo nalulugi ngayon. Ang lugi nyo lang, Bawas kita. Ang lugi nyo lang is wala kang kita. Probably kung hindi ka nakakapagbenta ngayon online. Pero hindi ka tulad na mga may-ari ng kumpanya ngayon. Napakalaki talaga ng problema. <laughs> Laki ng problema nila. Wala nang benta. Bayad pa upa. Bayad pa tao. Bayad pa taxes. Lahat. Yun yung malaking ano. So actually, yun yung mahirap. And then next naman is how to stay positive in a negative situation. Yan ang uh, isang malaking challenge talaga. Ang kailangan talaga natin ngayon talaga, more than the health, uh, what do you call this, yung health natin, ang, ang pag-uusapan, uh, we also need to talk about our mental, our mental health, the way we think. Kasi right now, dalawa lang eh. In times of crisis, ah, ito lang kailangan tandaan nyo, mga tagasante. Number one, it's either you die, you die. Number two, you survive. Number three, you try. I will repeat, you die, you survive or you thrive. Die in the sense na wala, na-depress ka. Sumuko ka. Na ang ginawa mo na lang, eh, wala kang ginagawa sa bahay. Nag-Netflix ka na lang. So mamamatay talaga yung negosyo mo. Diba? And then, there are people who survive. Diba? May mga magsasurvive din sa negosyo. Mga magsasurvive sa negosyo, yung probably yung mga taong gagawa ng paraan. At mamaya, pag-uusapan natin kung paano yun. And the third group of people are people who thrive, who would look at this tragedy and difficulty as an opportunity. So very important po yun na kailangan talaga we have to take care of our mental health. Eh. Ang practical tips ko na lang sa inyo, guys, number one is number one, stop reading fake news. Huwag na kayo magbasa ng balita. Lahat ng kailangan natin malaman tungkol sa ano, NCOB, alam na natin. Mm -mm. At Wala sa atin ni isa ay doktor na makakapagdigay ng lunas. Kahit madagdagan ng alamat, kaalaman mo sa NCOM na yan, wala na eh. Ang kailangan lang natin malaman, number one, stay home. Diba? Wash your hands. Wear mask if you need to go outside. Diba? Avoid human contact, social distancing. Alam na natin lahat yan. Huwag doon yung dagdagan. Basa pa rin pa tayo ng basa. Eh, diba? Tapos nagpapakalat pa tayo minsan ng fake news. Oh, magkakaroon ng lockdown daw si Duterte. Magdedeclare na ng martial law ng two weeks. Bumili kayo na yung pagkain ng two weeks. Kung hindi, magugutom kayo. <laughs> Tapos makakalat din yan. Lalo ka matatakot. Diba? So, this is the right now, the best time for us to take care of our mental health. So, how do we take care of our mental health? Read, read positive books, number one. Number two, watch videos that can enlighten you. Number three, listen to praise and worship music. Number four, very important, read the Bible. Yan, yun ang kailangan natin gawin. Number five, panoorin yung mga video ko sa YouTube na positive lang lahat. And last but not the least, aside from the mental health part, ang kailangan po natin nowadays, you need to also strengthen not only your physical health, your mental health, but also your spiritual health. Kailangan, this is a time for us to connect to our God kung anong faith po namin. At ang ano pong faith natin? Diba? Ako, naniniwala ako. Ever since naman, eh, even before this crisis, I'm not a very religious person, but I'm a very spiritual person. I acknowledge that God owns everything. I acknowledge that it is God who gives me the ability to produce wealth. So, kailangan po, lalo pong dapat lumakas ang 
ating pananalig at kapit sa Diyos sa panahon na ito. Dahil alam po natin ang Diyos po ay hindi tayo iiwanan at di tayo pababayaan. That He will never allow us to go hungry. That He will never leave us nor forsake us, especially in these times of crisis. At the same time, He will provide for us. Diba? Maniwala kayo, wala sa atin ang magugutog. Wala sa atin ang magugutog kung yan lang ang iisipin natin. Sige, Paul, that answers your first question. Yeah, thank you. No, no. Um, actually, may question din dito. It's, it's related actually dun sa, well, all of us are direct sellers, no? Nasa network marketing nga. Eka nga tayo, no? Uh, you being uh, a top uh, Uh, networker before or distributor before you no know, um, can you give us practical tips what will you do uh, at this time you know if you are uh, in part of a direct selling business okay that's a good question no so guys kung kayo ay nakikinig ngayon ay uh, ano i share ko lang uh, yours truly is already 55 years old 55 na ako yes i look like uh, ano 25 but i ano my age is 55 o wala ko kontra hawak ko yung mic eh. <laughs> No, what I'm trying to say, I went through a lot already. If I go back through time, 1989, December 1, kudeta, grabe. Ibang klase talaga yun. Wala, nag-lockdown din talaga buong city. Kasi nga, uh, yun nga, gera na eh. Mayroon ng war during that time. But we survived. And then after that, uh, 1989, naalala ko, 1992, nagkaroon din ng crisis. Oh, may isang crisis din nangyari. We survived. And then in the year, uh, I can still remember 1998. Oh, 1998 ulit. May crisis na naman. Yung dollar Asian crisis. We survived. In 2008, nagkaroon ng global financial crisis. We survived. So in other words, kung titignan po natin, marami na tayong pinagdadaanan. Kaya for me, it's not anymore. This is not anymore new. For all of us, uh, especially when we go through crisis, because uh, again, people thrive during the times of crisis. And then let me talk about right now uh, how can we adjust. Just to give everyone a premise, I think I have to speak in English because right now I see a non-Filipino. Right? Should I speak in English, uh, Paul? Um, pwede naman. Uh, pwede English. Yeah. Yeah. So for the benefit of those people who don't speak uh, Filipino, I'll speak in Tagalog. <laughs> no, I speak in English. Okay, many business are affected right now, as I mentioned, and in every season, uh, when there's a what we call as change, uh, there's what we call as disruptor. If you can still remember in the time uh, when into the internet was introduced, Bill Gates once mentioned when he started that if your business is not in the internet, you are out of business, and definitely he was right. He was true. It, it is. It's true. It's happening right now. If your business right now is not online, you're going to be dead. If you want to meet people face to face, I don't think it will it will come back soon. It will take a lot of time. So that's number one. I can still remember during the time of telecommunication, there's still what we call as a uh, uh, beepers uh, company, pager companies. Uh, you have to call a operator, and then the calling after calling an operator, they will send your message. But right now, it's them. Why? Because there was there's uh, what we call as SMS or texting, short messaging system, and right now you can send a message instantly. So all of those companies died. If you can still remember, in terms of form of entertainment, videos like Betamax, VHS, Laserdisc, it's all purely rental during that time. You can rent, but right now it's dead because it's streaming right now. All of the entertainment streaming already live through uh, Netflix or through other forms of uh, uh, using technology. Taxi companies right now are dead because they did not reinvent themselves. Uber and Grab is killing them. So right now, the virus also is also forcing all of us to do something different. So what am I trying to say? I hope that you are open-minded. If you keep on doing the same thing over and over again and expect a different result, you're going to be insane. You, you, you are insane. It won't work. So this is the time for us to what? Reinvent. Everybody say the word called reinvent. If you want to survive right now, you've got to reinvent the way you do things. It's either we reinvent or we die. This is the perfect time for you to reinvent. 
Uh, let me tell you my personal uh, story in terms of reinvention. Ever since uh, my career, uh, Joey knows this, um, Joey Marcelo, because I've been with Joey for one of the longest time. Uh, I started my sales career at the age of 12. I've been in sales. From sales, I went into business. And from business, I went into entertainment by producing concerts in the early 80s. I was producing the concert of Randy Santiago, Gary Valenciano. <coughs> And then after that, I went into uh, movies. I used to be a, an actor from 87 to 94. And then after that, I reinvented myself because I realized I'm only good as my last picture. I went into the industry of network marketing in the early 1992. And from 1992 up to 2006, I was in the business of network marketing. And in 2006, I realized my time to do business was up. So I reinvented again myself. In 2008, I started to write books. I started to give public seminars. And right now, this is what I'm doing for the last 11 years, or 11 or 12 years already. So what am I trying to say? I have reinvented myself, the, the way I do things. Because again, the only thing that is permanent in this world is change. If you do not change, you will become extinct. If you do not innovate, you will evaporate. So I think I've made my point already. Why should you reinvent and why should you change right now? So there are two things that you need to do right now in order for you to survive. Two words. First word is adjust. Second is adapt. Everybody say adjust. And then number two is what? Adapt. So when you say adjust, you got to be flexible. This is the time that you need to learn how to adjust the way you do business, the way you network, the way you sell, the way you market. Just like a bamboo tree for you to better understand, a bamboo tree, no matter how hard the wind blows, it never breaks because it just bends with the wind and adjusts. Unlike when there's a typhoon, uh, hard woods, hard trees, they get uprooted. They break because they fail to what? Adjust. So it's very important that you got to evaluate right now on how you can become flexible in doing your business right now. Number two, in terms of adjusting and adapting, whether you like it or not, this will be a work from home setup already. Why do I say this? Uh, especially if you are from the Philippines right now. Let's say the president will declare by April 30, April 30, the lockdown is already done. Okay. All of you can go, go out to work. All of you can already shop and already can go back to do your business. This is my question. Who among you, sino sa inyo, will go out on April 30 and do, a, do your business? Tanungin ko kayo, sumagot kayo. Sino sa inyo ang lalabas? <laughs> Ikaw po, lalabas ka? Hindi. <laughs> I will still work from home <laughs> because it's That's possible. That's the point. You know, no, that's only work from home because it's possible. Because everyone is on a wait and see mode. Right. Wait and see. Check natin kung may namamatay pa. Check natin kung may nai-infect pa. Habang may nai-infect, habang may namamatay, walang lalabas. Kaya nga binubola lang natin sarili natin, nasasabihin natin, hindi, malapit na ito matapos. This will go back to normal. You are fooling yourself. <laughs> So in other words, if you're going to wait for another 60 to 90 days, maybe you don't have any more network, you don't have any more business. So this is a time for you to treat this. If I'm going to position myself right now, I'm going to treat this that this will be already the norm. I will set up and build my entire business, entire operation in this type of setup. This will be my know, plan B already. Just in case it prolongs, it's okay, but still, I'm still operating. I'm still earning money. So work from home setup is going to be important. And whether you like it or not, again, even, okay, right now, let's presume oh, there will be already uh, a decrease in number. Whether you like it or not, face-to-face -face meeting will be greatly reduced. Diba? Kahit na mag-meet kayo, naka-face mask pa rin. Wala pa rin hawakan ng kamay. You won't shake the hands of another person because that's the number one contaminant. Diba? 
Mahirap yan eh. Imagine mo, you just making money, you go out, and then you get infected, and then once you go home, you infect also your loved ones. It's so crazy. So yung face-to-face -face meeting talaga mawawala na rin. So what am I trying to say? Ladies and gentlemen, people of Sante, listen. Learn how to adjust and adapt already your sales strategy. Yeah, nice, nice. Yeah, Chinky, there is a, another question here, which I think is... Uh, uh, okay. uh, Paul, di pa tayo tapos. Thanks, Chinky. Sige, go ahead. Just, I'll just cite you an example. Uh, I'm sure majority of the people right now, especially you, th those people who are not familiar on using the internet, on how to market your products, you are not yet promoting uh, via social media, you don't know how to sell. Because always remember, when there's change, people refuse change. Because it's moving you out of your comfort zone. You are not familiar. Hindi ka nasanay sa ginagawa mo. Mahirapan ka talaga. Pero ulitin ko, may choice ka. Ay mong ika nga magpalit, mamamatay ka. 'Di ba? Ganun lang naman 'yan eh. Diretsuhan na lang, 'di ba? And then okay, let's talk about an actual ano. Eh, I've been counseling and coaching a lot of mga businesses. I call my uh, suki sa ano, sa seafood, sa may sa may farmers. So I called her up and I said, "Oh, house business." Sabi niya, "Sir, it's bad. My regular sales around 30 to 50,000." 30,000 on a uh, on a regular day, 50,000 on a good day. Right now, it's down by 80%. We're selling only 6,000 to 10,000 pesos a day. It's not good. So we had a discussion, and then I gave some ideas. After 10 days, after 10 days, I called her up again. Sabi ko, how is your business doing, sir? Uh, I cannot believe it. Right now, we're selling at least 50,000 regular, 80,000 to 100,000 on a good day. Ulitin ko, dati ang benta niya, 6,000 to 10,000 nung after the lockdown and community quarantine. And then may in-adjust lang siya sa business niya, it increased daily by 50,000 to 80,000 to 100,000 every single day. The question is, anong ginawa niya? She did only two things. Number one, online and number two, delivery. I will repeat, online and delivery. So she adjusted her sales strategy. So right now she's making fifty to eighty thousand pesos per day. And I asked her, because what if this lockdowns end and this community quarantine end? Will you go back to your old ano model? Sabi niya sir, hindi na. I will keep this. Less headache, di ba? So in other words, this is a time for us to adjust. This is a time for you to reinvent yourself. How are you going to market? How are you going to market and sell your products right now online and make use of the delivery system so that you can ship it anytime, anywhere, and any place? Sige, Paul. Yeah. Actually, tama-tama yung sinabi mo. Kasi talagang our business owners are all online. They're capable. And uh, we have a very good product and it's deliverable. Kaya tama-tama yung sinabi mo, Chinky, no? Um, there's a question here actually, which is I think relevant also. No? Um, kasi there are people who have not who were caught by surprise, di ba? Nag lockdown or nag ECQ, and then walang savings, no? So med medyo tight sa budget, tight sa finances. Ang question here is, ano bang tips? What tips can you give to those people who do not have any savings at all? Uh, what can you? Ano, ano bang masasabi ba don Chinky? <laughs> Ay nako, talagang uh, mahirap talaga. Mahirap talaga sa panahon ngayon na mawalang pera. Okay, I'll give you probably some of my realization no, when it comes to ano, sabay na rin yung solution. Uh, my top realizations, financial reali realization when it comes to money because of this quarantine. Number one, it's very important for you to have savings and emergency fund. That's my realization number one. Savings is necessary because you can use it in times of what crisis. That's the reason why I want to encourage for those people, and I want to congratulate those people who made money from your company and organization and save money for a rainy day. And your priority is to save money so that you can use it right now. So when you talk about emergency fund, it is crucial for you to have at least three to six months of emergency fund. When you talk about emergency fund, you're Monthly expense 
water, food, education, rent, electricity, utilities, monthly expenses. If your monthly expenses is 30,000 pesos per month, that's around 90 to 180,000 pesos a month set aside. Just in case something happens like this, you have three to six months of living expense that you can live on. So what if you don't have the, the what do you call it, the emergency fund? That's the problem right now. So that's one thing, that first thing I realized. Second thing that I realized, your income is not forever. Hindi forever ang income natin. Tama o mali? Parang ayaw sumagot. <laughs> eh, Siyempre, di ba? Parang check natin, di ba? Check Ay, alam mo naman, check Minsan tumataas, minsan bumababa yan. Depende sa volume ng grupo mo yan. Eh. Di ba? Kaya, wag, nas, wag natin sabihin na everyday is Christmas. Uh, because hindi araw-araw Pasko. Kaya very important po na kailangan po tayo, meron tayong pinopondo. And then third thing that I realized no, right now with money, your income, uh, your, ex, uh, your income is limited but expenses are unlimited. Hindi na uubos ang ating expenses. Tuloy-tuloy ang ano, <laughs> di ba? Ang gastos. Kahit lockdown, kahit walang ano, tuloy pa rin bayad ng kuryente, tuloy pa rin ang pagkain, tuloy pa rin lahat, tuloy ang expenses. Simple math, di ba? No coming in, everything's going out, mauubos ka. That's the reason why, let me encourage you guys, I hope that this will be a learning lesson for all of you right now. If you start earning and if you're still earning, this is a time for you to be financially prepared. You got to have a financial preparedness. <laughs> At uh, one more thing that I realized in this lockdown, it's so hard to depend on others. Mahirap na umasa sa tulong ng iba. Diba? Ang hirap, diba? Ang hirap umasa sa gobyerno. Ang hirap umasa sa iba. Ang hirap din manghir uh, manghirap sa mga kamagahan at kaibigan para kang nanlilimos. And then ito pa, guys. Ha? Siguro isang uh, simple realization ko lang dito right now na pwede talaga palaga tayo mabuhay ng simple at di maluho. We can live simply. We already survived for almost 30 to 40 days without eating out, without drinking expensive coffee, without buying clothes and shoes and makeups and gadgets, without traveling and we're still alive. Buhay pa tayo lahat mga kapatid. Dati feeling natin, pag hindi tayo kumakain sa labas, kawawa tayo, hindi tayo uminom ng kape, kawawa tayo, hindi tayo bumibili ng mga bagong damit at gadgets, eh, di ba? Mukha tayong kawawa. Di ba? Buti pa sila, bumabiyahe tayo, hindi. Eh, nabuhay tayo ngayon eh, na hindi mo kailangan gawin lahat yan. Di ba? So, nagets nyo, it made us realize a lot of things. That's the reason why I want to encourage you guys. Nasana naman eh kung bumalik na inyong kita, prioritize na talagang about money management at wag naman sana kayo maging biktima ng ano mga one day millionaire. Sa tagal-tagal ko sa networking for over how many years? 14 years. Ang dami kong taong nakita na talagang one day millionaire. Nagkaroon lang ng pera, bili na naman ng kotse, bili na naman ng bahay, bili na tapos ngayon ang daming commitment. Ito masakit ngayon. This is the painful part. If you have a lot of mortgages right now, ang dami mo binabayarang hinuhulugan mo sa sakyan, hinuhulugan mong bahay, nako, dito tayo magkakaroon ng problema right now. Ang dami. Believe me, after this crisis, after this crisis, a lot of people will resell their cars. A lot of people will resell their houses. Especially if they don't build their emergency fund. But the good news is this, this is the last part when it comes to finances. If you build your emergency fund right now, you have three to six months Kasama yung pagbayad ng monthly amortization mo na sasakyan. Kasama ang pagbayad mo ng inyong mga bahay na mga monthly amortization. Nakasama yung pondo sa 3 to 6 months. Hindi ka mamumubleba. Hindi mariremata ang bahay mo. Alright. So, Chinky, ang sinasabi mo, more or less, no, dapat talaga may 6 months kang buffer. no At least hmm. 6 months. No? Including all payments, all mortgages. Alright. Yeah. Thank you. Um, Chinky, uh, may question din dito. No? Uh, ito naman siguro dun sa may natatabing konti no? o may natatabing malaki. Diba? Kasi ang question is, um, if you are going to invest, is it wise to invest at this time? And if it's, you know, if there is a an opening for any investment, which investment would you choose at this time? 
Ay, nako. Guys, uh, this is the best time for people who are financially prepared. This is a time where you can make a lot of money. Why? Number one, let's talk about the stock market. The stock market is down by 30 to 50%. All the stock prices right now are on bargain. Bargain siya. Imagine na lang ganito. What if I'm going to sell you this iPhone? Itong iPhone na ito. I'm going to sell you this iPhone. 75,000 to. I'm going to give it to you at 35,000. Will you buy it? Of course. Kasi you can resell it immediately. You can make... Uh, sell it at 50,000, can make 50,000. 50, uh, 15, that is exactly what's happening in the stock market right now. But if you want to buy in the stock market, let me give you an unsolicited advice. Kung, let's say if you have 100,000 and you want to purchase, divide it by four, divide it by four. 25%, 25,000, 25,000, 25,000, 25,000. So buy right now, anytime, buy it at 20, uh, no, 25,000 worth of the stocks that you want. What if it goes down, you buy again? What if it goes down, you buy again? In other words, saluhin mo lang. What if pagbili mo ng 25,000, you buy again? You buy again. Diba? You divide it by four. Parang ang tawag doon ay averaging. Kasi hindi natin alam kung talagang babaksak pa siya. Kung bumaksak siya, masasalo mo pa. Right now, for me, this is the best time. Cash is king, my friend. Cash is king. Why? As I mentioned a moment ago, after this, a lot of people will resell their cars. A lot of people will resell their house. If you are selling right now, you cannot sell at a seller's price. You have got to sell at a buyer's price. When you say buyer's price, you're going to sell at a loss. You need money right now. Okay, if your value of your house is $3 million, but you need money right now, you have to sell it at $2.5 or even $2 million. So right now, if those people have money, you can take uh, that opportunity and buy it and then resell it later. So for me, this is the best time for people who have saved, who are financially prepared. This is the best time because always remember this, in the middle of every difficulty lies opportunity. In the middle of crisis, rises what? Uh, opportunity to make money. Thank you, Chinky. No? Um, another question, Chinky. It's um, a bit Personal lang, Chinky, you know? um, I, 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 I hope you can answer this also. No? Because uh, like Joey uh, and myself, we found ourselves more productive, in fact, nung time na, you know, naka ECQ, you know? um, And, well, can you share to us a typical day of Chinky Tan you know, sa isang ECQ na situation? Uh, I've been in ECQ for 11 years. <laughs> yeah, seriously, you know why? Because ever since day one, I set up my entire operation from work from home. I have 40 virtual assistants working under me. They're all work from home. So the only time that I go out, if I get invited to speaking engagement because I have to meet people and I have to be there live. But aside from that, everything that I do is really work from home. So that's the reason why it's not really uh, an adjustment on my end. And the reason why I want to work from home, like for example, uh, number one, I get to save on traveling time. You just imagine if you have to go to work, that's around two hours to go to one place and two hours for you to go back. That's around four hours per day. A typical employee uh, in terms of uh, waste their time, uh, that's four hours times 20 days. That's 80 hours per month divided by 24. That's around three hour, uh, three days in a month. You are traveling times 12 months. That's around one month in a year. You're inside the car. You're inside the vehicle doing nothing because you're traveling. It's wasted time. So right now, you can maximize the four hours to other, unproduct uh, other productive time. It's a proven fact. An employee is only effective. Uh, in a day, an eight hours work, they are only effective one to two hours. One to two hours lang. You can get only one to two hours of quality time from them. So you just imagine yung travel time ba? Sobrang ano. Kaya nga, after this one o'clock meeting, I have another live event at three o'clock. After three o'clock, I have at five. After five, I have an eight. You just imagine if I have to travel. But right now, there's no traveling time. I can do 10 
then what we call seminars in a day, which before I can only do two, maximum of three in a day because I have to travel from one place to the other. So right now, you just imagine you building your organization, building your network, training your team right now. You can be right now in the Philippines. You can be in Zimbabwe. You can be in South Africa. You can, without paying for travel, travel, uh, what do you call it? You don't have to travel. You don't have to pay for visas, you don't have to pay for plane fare, you're building your entire business and net network from home. That's really an amazing thing. That's what, uh, actually, we've been doing this already uh, since 2000 and uh, I can still remember 2001. But unfortunately, there's no video call during that time in 2001. We call it three-way calling. Calling by a long distance, we pitch people over the phone. We've been training people over the phone since 2001. We've been building network uh, through what we call as telephone technology. But right now, because of advanced technology, you just imagine you can train people. You can connect with people. You can talk to people. So my typical day is this. I wake up at around 9 a.m. After 9 a.m., I take a shower. And the first thing I do is I read the word. And I get guidance from God. After that, I pray. The first thing I do, I come to this office. I open the light. I can I I remember my routine <laughs> for eleven years. I open the light. I open the electric fan, and then I open the window and I sit and I check all my emails. And then after that, I do videos because I shoot daily videos. And then after that, I meet my team. And I talk to my team. And after talking to my team, what are the uh, agenda for the day? I start recording. I start shooting. And then send all the materials to my editors. And then after that, I do mga webinars. I do mga seminars already. So that's a typical day. And at uh, I, I take a break at night time, definitely. I, by the way, I take breaks in the middle. 12 o'clock, I take break for lunch. And after that, I will watch. Uh, and entertain myself for one hour. And then after that, I go back at around 2 o'clock or 3 o'clock. And then after that, again, I work and then take a break at 7 o'clock. And then after 7 o'clock for dinner, if I have to do something else, and I end at around 9 o'clock. So that's my typical day. Every single day. It's just like watching the Groundhog Day. <laughs> the movie Groundhog. Paulit-ulit lang to. Pero 11 years ko na ginagawa to. 11 years na ako quarantine. <laughs> Galeng, galeng, chinky. Uh, chinky, question then, no? follow-up question to that. No? Um, a lot of people find it difficult eh, to work from home. Um, what characteristics should one have uh, for one to be successful in working from home? Okay, guys, uh, I do highly recommend uh, if you are working from home, you should already uh, create what system and process. Number one, as I mentioned, you must create a routine because all of us, we are creatures of habit, whether you like it or not, we're creatures of habit. And then habit, it's the habits that we create that forms our what? Our way of thinking, our way of life. Paulit-ulit mong ginagawa yan. Eh. Pag na, naulit na yan, parang magiging routine na yan sa'yo. It, it becomes a routine. So I would suggest na create yung schedules pa rin. By what time you will go to work, what time will you call people, what time will you meet people, what time will you follow up your downlines, what time should you follow up your leaders, what time should you do training, what time should you meet. So there must be a schedule, routine. And then number two, create a what? Workspace at home. Create a workspace that is uh, conducive without any distraction. Because if you mix it in your bedroom, you know what will happen? Chances are from time to time you go to bed and sleep. So I, I suggest that you remove it from your bedroom. Wag ka sa bedroom, uh, mag-work from home. Uh, talagang stay at home, katulog na rin. <laughs> All, always find a what? A small space that you can really work. And then if you're really having a hard time, unfortunately, because there's a lot of distraction and because your place is small, you try to work the opposite time. While they are sleeping, you work. And while they are awake, probably can sleep. Yan yung ginagawa ng mga iba na talaga maliit yung bahay, opposite sila. They become more productive if everyone's sleeping because there's no distraction. So again, develop some routine. And aside from routine, uh, create a working space. And then very important is discipline. The discipline to be able to finish the work. If you can finish the work today, don't prolong it because tomorrow you have other what tasks that you need to do. All right, thanks. Uh, very valuable tips, no? From Chinky, no? Um, Chinky, last question. Uh, mm. Okay, lang. 
you still have uh, time oh, for that. Yes. Uh, no problem. Yeah. Um, well, COVID or no COVID, what motivates Chinky Tan? Um, Joey knows this. You know this. I'm a very driven person. I'm a very driven person. Driven person, not because I want to prove something to the world. I have not. I have, don't have to prove anything to anyone. The reason why I'm so driven for the things that I'm doing in life. Every, no, I don't. I just don't want to brag. I don't want to brag. I don't want to Lahat ng pinasukan kong negosyo ay eh, talagang successful. Nung ako ay nagne-network marketing, nag-multi-level marketing ko, lahat ng MLM na pinasukan ko, parati akong number one. O, hindi naman sa ano. Kasi they, ano, focus talaga ako. Eh. I always have a mindset. If I'm going to do something, it's either I do already, I give it all or I don't do it anything. I, I don't just do, I, I just don't need to do it. It's either I give everything <laughs> Or, I just don't do it. Parang ano ba? Ang attitude palaga natin dapat sa buhay. Pag naglaro ka ng game, di ba? You play the game. You play basketball. Anong attitude mo? Sana wag matalo, sana wag matalo, sana wag matalo, sana wag matalo, sana wag matanggap. Ay, naglaro ka pa, talo ka <laughs> What's the goal of a game? The goal of the game is to what? Come on, talk to me. It's to win. You don't play to avoid losing. You play to win. You don't go into a business. Sana makabayad ng kuryente. Sana makabayad ng kuryente. Sana babayaran ang utang ko. Ay, yun lang. Survival lang. Ay, trabaho ka na lang. Sa survive ka. You go into business for you to become successful, for you to become wealthy, for you to become rich, for you to earn unlimited income. Kung satisfied ka na sa 15,000, 20,000 na commission mo, magtrabaho ka na lang, pinapahirapan mo pa sarili mo. Dito, we build our dreams. Ang goal mo, hindi 15,000. Ang goal mo, from 15, maging 30. From 30, maging 60. 60, 120. 120, 240. Because the income is unlimited. It's dependent on the time, effort, and your commitment that you have given in the business. And that's one thing. Eh. Ito ang kagandahan about free enterprise eh, and about this business. Eh. Okay, guys, listen. Gusto nyo kumita na malaki? Yes or no? Sumagot kayo. Kung gusto nyo kumita na mga malaki, you give more value. The key word is value. Everybody say value. When you talk about value, or example, janitor, ng ano, 12 hours nagtatrabaho, 10 to 12 hours, well, doon niya 15,000 a month. Mismo yung ano, CEO ng kumpanya. CEO ng kumpanya, same company. Sweldo niya, 150,000 a month. Parang hindi fair. Ha? Yung isa, ang sweldo, 15. Yung isa, 150. Bakit gano'n? Napaka-unfair. The reason why 150 na CEO is because the CEO gives more value to the company. I'm not saying that he's not valuable, but the point is, he adds more value so what am I trying to say? People are only going to pay you based on the value that you provide. So the more value you give to people, the more you get paid. So my challenge to all of you, sana maging mag-change ang mindset po talaga natin. Eh. Mag-change ang mindset talaga natin. I'm so driven because I know I can give more value to people. That's the reason why I don't, I don't feel bad if I make a million a day. Why? Because I know I give more value to people. And uh, one more, more reason why I'm I so driven, it's not because that I only want to become wealthy and rich. Kasi I know there's a purpose for everything. Pakinggan nyo to. Huwag kayong sanang mawala sa sasabihin ko. Who among you want to be blessed? Taas ang kamay. You want to be blessed. Do you want to know the purpose of blessing? Yes or no? The purpose of blessing is for us to become a blessing to others. Tayo po ay pinagpala para maging pagpapala sa kapwa. Tayo ay binigyan ng oportunidad na kumita dito sa kumpanyang ito, sa negosyong ito, para ikaw ay maging pagpapala sa ibang tao. 
Ganun din sa akin. Kaya nga, I don't see any problem making making a million a day. Alam mo bakit? So that I can give 900,000 away. Mabubuhay naman ako sa 100,000. Diba? Hindi ko naman kailangan ng 1 million. Kahit 100,000 lang yun, 900,000 pamigay ko na. At alam ko lahat po tayo ngayon nakikinig ngayon dito. Marami tayong mga taong tinutulungan. Marami taong umaasa rin sa atin. Hindi lang pamilya mo. Kundi mga kamag-anak nyo. Kaibigan nyo. Kaya nga dapat driven tayo. Eh. Driven tayo for success. Wag kang, don't settle for less. Huwag mo sabihin na mabubuhay na ako. Okay na ako. Konti. Oh, konti. Okay lang for you to be contented. Guys, ito yung last. It's okay for you to be contented but you should not be satisfied. Because if you are contented and you are satisfied, you are selfish. Selfish ka. Bakit? Iniisip mo lang kasi sarili mo. At least kung makain ako tatlong beses ang araw, at least okay ang buhay ko. Eh paano naman yung mga taong gusto mo tulungan? Paano sila? Paano mo sila tutulungan kung sa patang kinikita mo? That's the reason why I'm so driven. Eh, hindi mag-gets ng tao ito eh. Hindi mag-gets ng tao ito eh. Sinky, ang dami mo na negosyo, ba't mo pang gusto kumita? Eh kasi may... Uh, Una, may 40 akong pinapasweldohan. 40ang tao. 40ang pamilya yun. Pangalawa, meron akong magulang na sinusuportahan. May mother-in-law akong sinusuportahan. One buwan yun. Si Papa nagda-dialysis 3 times a week, 12 times a month. 10 years na. Paano madadialysis si Papa kung walang pera? Paano yung mga kaibigan ng mga kamag-anak ko na bigla na lang nangangailangan? Paano naman yung church na gusto kong tulungan? Paano kong tutulungan niyan kung wala ako mismo ko? That's the reason why huwag nyo nang isipin. Huwag nyo nang isipin na oh, eh, pwede na ako, okay na ako. Huwag mo isipin sarili mo. Ang isipin mo yung iba. Nagagamitin ka ng Panginoon, nagagamitin ka ng Diyos na daluyan ng kanyang pagpapala. Kaya that's the reason why we should be driven. Gets nyo? Pag maintindihan mo yung naintindihan ko. <laughs> Kaya nga nasabi, Shinky, but, di ba, nung umalis ako sa networking, nung umalis ako sa networking, akala ko end na yung karir ko, tapos na. Wala. Eh, ngayon, yung kinikita ko ngayon per day. Kinikita ko per day. Di ba? Wala na. Compare sa dati, talagang sobrang malayo. Kahit nga ngayon, ngayon itong lockdown eh, itong lockdown na ito, God is good talaga. God has been providing. Yung iba negosyo, apektado. Pero but still, God is good. God has been providing for this, for what I'm doing. Kaya nga, I want to challenge all of you. Don't settle for less. Be contented. Be contented with whatever you have today, but you should not be satisfied because the good days are not behind us, but the good days are ahead of us. Okay, Paul? Yeah, thank you so much, Chinky. No, ah, sobrang valuable ng mga sinabi mo. Na I'm, I'm very, very sure our business owners nagbenefit talaga no from your sharing. Um, before, before we close, um, I'd like to call Joey. No, ba Joey might want to say a few words sa yun din no and to our business owners. Ah, Joey, Joey, there. Yeah. Ah, thank you very much, Bro Chinky. Ah, this is such a wonderful afternoon. Dami ko na ano, I don't know. I, I hope yung mga partners natin nag-take notes ano. I've learned a lot uh, from this afternoon training with Chinky and uh, Chinky bro ah, basta regularly aabusuhin ah, kita. Wala kang choice ah. Aabusuhin kita lagi. <laughs> <laughs> Grabe yung mga insights ngayon and um, thank you very much bro for your ano no, yung yung wisdom mo. Um, kailangan talaga namin yan especially our business owners all over the globe. Um, I'm happy to say that by far uh, our company is uh, thriving ito sa crisis na to and our business owners are more than willing to learn kasi kailangan talaga alam nila na kailangan talaga nilang mag-adapt and siguro na talagang na-reinforce talaga bro with, uh, with with your message to us right now and we're very thankful to have a uh, a friend like you Chinky uh, bro maraming maraming salamat and uh, may God bless you more uh, sa mga ventures nyo and uh, part uh, bro Chinky if you want to promote nga pala yung yung sinasabi sa inyo sa inyo kanina if yeah, you want yeah, to I Guys, uh, I would like to take this opportunity to invite all of you because this is the time for you to sharpen your saw and sharpen your axe. If you have an axe, may palakol ka, this is the best time for you to sharpen because before, we always complain that we do not have time. Pero right now, 
would you all agree right now that we have a lot of time? Tama mali? Thumbs up kayo. Correct. Ang dami nating oras. Kasi wala na tayong travel time eh. So this is the time for you to also learn. Tatandaan nyo to ha. Napakahirap gawin ang isang bagay kapag hindi mo alam. Pero pag alam mo na, napakadali. Napakahirap magnegosyo pag hindi mo alam. Pero alam mo na, napakadali. Napakahirap mag-network pag hindi mo alam. Pero pag natutunan mo, madali. Napakahirap mag-online selling pag hindi mo alam. Pero pag natutunan mo na, madali. Tama mali? Tama. So right now, ito yung time na I, I would like to challenge you na talagang ano, uh, to learn. And I'm really so thankful and grateful. Let me tell you the secret of mine. Ito yung last secret ko. I will not be the person that I am today if it wasn't for a mentor. And alam naman ni Joey yan saka ni Paul yan eh. Kung ang networking is copy me business, ako rin copy rin to. I will not have a career right now in public speaking if it wasn't for this person by the name of Francis Kong. Si Francis Kong po. Francis Kong is the one who taught me on how to communicate, how to speak in public, how to write books. So in other words, lahat ng mga natutunan ko ay nanggaling sa kanya. That's the reason why ito yung good news. This coming April 18, April 18, Saturdays, mark it on your calendar, 9 p.m. to 12, private, ano, private group to, Facebook Live, private group. Pero ang, ang good news, you can watch this via replay. Me and Francis Kong will come together in a seminar. It's called the best financial year ever. The best financial year ever. How can you create your best financial year this 20, ano, this 2020s, despite of the, fin uh, the health crisis? So my end, I will teach you on how to create a template. Hindi ako magsa-seminar. Joey, Paul, hindi ako magsa-seminar dito. Ang gagawin ko, workshop. Kasi ay ayaw ko ng ano eh, tama na info. Uh, sa totoo lang ah, we're so overloaded with information already. It's not any more information. It should be application. So in this session, in this course, na gagawin ko, I will teach you on how to create your short-term, medium-term, and long-term financial goal. Create a roadmap para tapos na. Yung parang, okay, by the age of 20, kung 20 ka ngayon, o ano dapat short term mo, 5 years from now, tapos medium term, 20 years from now, o uh, in uh, 30, uh, 30 to 40 years from now, ano mangyayari? Alam mo na, may pa-plot out mo na. So that's number one. That's what I'm gonna teach. It's more of financial planning. Application workshop siya. Number two, si Francis naman will teach naman about mindsetting. How to become the best person that you can be, your best version ever. So he will talk about the right attitude, the right mindset, in order for you to become your best version of yourself. Ito ay mangyayari from 9 p.m. up to 12 midnight. Again, the good news about this session, may replay siya for 30 days. Kung hindi mo mapanood, makatch on time dahil may gagawin ka. Pwede paulit-ulit na panunuorin mo. Now, next question. Magkano yung investment? FYI, alam mo naman to, Joey and Paul, If you attend Francis Kong seminar, it will cost you a lot of money. Hindi ba baba ng ten thousand per head yan? But right now we have discussed because of this ano quarantine, so we a price na ano lower at two thousand five hundred ninety eight per person two five nine eight. Pero may good news. We want to help more people. That's the reason why ang gagawin nand instead of two five nine eight. Tatanggalin na namin yung 2,000. 598 na lang per participant. 598 pesos. And the reason why we want to charge right now is because we want also, pag binigay na namin free yan, eh, <laughs> walang, walang value. That's the reason why we want to know kung sino lang committed. For those people who are committed, all you need to do is just go to the site shinkitan.com slash best. Yun, you can enroll right now, shinkitan.com slash best. And then, once you enroll, you can, ano, you can get in already and then we will formally start on April 18. I encourage you to bring your network, your downline to join this uh, session kasi magbabago talaga eh. Number one, alam mo, ituturo ko talaga, isang ituturo ko talaga is to save up for emergency fund. Para hindi kayo mahirapan, natatawag sa mga downline nyo pag nagpapamitin kayo. Ups, hindi ako makapunta eh. Wala nang pamasahe. <laughs> Ay, eh, ginastos mo eh. Nungubos mo agad lahat eh. So guys, I hope that you will be part of that session. Thank you very much, Joey, for uh, granting me this opportunity. And then, believe me, alam naman ni Joey to eh. Siguro, Joey, di ba? 
Sulit ba pag ikaw ay natuto kay Francis, ikaw na magsabi? Joey, hindi ka naririnig. Well, Chinky mentioned na 2,598. Ang naisip ko kaagad sa ito, mura na. 2,598 lang. Ching, uh, Chinky Tan and Francis ko. Nung sinabi niya, 598, muntik na ako maririnig sa sili. Parang for 598, honestly, I mean, parang this is not hard sell for me, ano? Pero listening to Francis Kong and Ching Kitan back to back for only 598 pesos. That's actually nothing. Eh. For the past few days, I've been buying books sa ano, Amazon. Uh, Ninalagay ko lang sa Kindle book ko. And I've been spending a lot on learnings. And what is 598 pesos? Two top-notch speakers. Ano? So ako, I encourage all of our partners who are watching right now, uh, uh, it's not about the amount. 598 is nothing to you, mga partners namin. Pero ang importante dito is yung sama-sama tayo matuto. And I think timing yun, ano? how to really handle your finances. It's very important right now. Actually, ang buhay ngayong mga panahon na to, yung mga partners natin na kahit paano nakapagtabi ng pera. And attending this training is a much, much bigger opportunity for us because I believe na in the coming months or years, lalaki ang kita ng mga tigasante. So ito yung time na paghandaan na natin yun. So I encourage you guys, kahit ako, personally, I'll be attending this training. Mamaya pagkatas ito, I'll be registering na. So let's attend this training together. And after this training, mag-create tayo ng Zoom call. Let's discuss yung mga learnings natin. Pag-usapan natin. So, Chinky, thank you very much for your time. Thank you for inviting us. Bro, sobrang value for money to. Uh, I'm so excited. Matay ko lang niya, dinig si Ninong. So, this is the right time na at least ma 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 madinig ko naman siya ulit. Si Ninong Francis Kong. Alright? So, thank again, you guys. Thank you, Chinky. Thank you. thank you, Chinky. Yes. Thank you so much. Yeah. Wow. Uh, exciting yun, ano? Uh, anyway, partners, thank you very much for attending. Ano? Um, wow. Wow. Uh, kahit ako na-overwhelm ako sa talk ni Chingi, sobrang, ano, sobrang spontaneous. Uh, hindi training yun. <laughs> For me, it's a training. It's, it's something coming from uh, the heart. And I really hope yung mga partners natin na nanonood ngayon learned a lot uh, from Mr. Uh, Chingi Tan. Uh, oh, actually, meron akong gusto sana i-share sa inyo. Pero wag na. Uh, kahit ako na-overwhelm ako. Eh. We'll, set isa, we, we'll set it aside na lang for, an, uh, for another session. Because I think yung, yung talk ni Chingi kanina is uh, more than enough. Uh, buo na yung natin, buo na yung araw natin okay? So let's attend this training ano? Honestly, it's nothing 598, 3 hour talk, Chinkitan, Francis Kong So, uh, so sulit to okay? So with that, uh, thank you for your time And siguro I would like, I'd just like to commend also Paul and Ian for uh, hosting this event Thank you very much Paul, Ian Such a successful event We have, nap napuno na natin yung, ano, yung Zoom at 100 We have 400 plus viewers in Facebook Live And we're expecting to gain more uh, uh, grounds uh, no, sa, in, the, in the coming days. Last message, last message ko lang before we formally close. Um, don't expect that your old usual way of doing the business uh, babalik pa. No. Um, don't expect na yung normal natin dati mangyayari pa because it might not happen anymore. Okay? This is considered as the new normal. Attending trainings online, doing presentations online. Tama si Ching kanina, wala nang gustong lumabas ng bahay in the coming days or months or even years. So you have to capitalize on this advantage. Learn the value of really reinventing yourself. Alam niyo ang kailangan niyo is that perfect word, reinvention. You have to reinvent the way that you do business because that way of doing the business will already be not only the future but the present. Ginagawa natin ngayon, yung past natin is already the past. Wala na yan, okay? Forget about that because that's not, for me, that's not normal anymore. Our old normal is not anymore normal. This is already the new normal at ito na mangyayari. Naniniwala kami in the coming months and years. Even our company, Santa International, we've already formed a department, a, a, a group, a committee. For a lack of better term, I call that committee the new normal committee because that committee, what, what that committee will do, we will brainstorm on a regular basis and develop a new system for Santa, which will be the new normal for our operations in the coming months. Sama, tama si Chingy, dalawa lang ang, ang pwedeng, ay, tatlo yung pwedeng mangyari. It's either you die, you survive, or you thrive. And definitely, I assure you, your company, Santi International, we will thrive in this pandemic and we will, be, we will be coming back bigger and bolder after this crisis. So, partners, thank you very much for watching. So, Paul, I'd like, just like to give the floor to you for your final message. Yeah, thank you, Joey. No, um, I'm sure everybody learned from Chinky Tan, no? uh, from the heart talaga siya. No? Um, and um, personally, Chinky Tan has been a blessing to me and my family ever since way back. No? So, about natin, no? um, the series will continue. Next Wednesday will be uh, yung doctor's training naman natin. No? It's a webinar no? for um, 
again, uh, discussing CODIV, uh, COVID, diba, from a doctor's point of view. Abangan po natin yan, 1 p.m. No? So with that, guys, maraming salamat. Uh, thank you for spending a very, very fruitful uh, afternoon with all of us. Bye-bye. See you next week. Bye-bye. Thank you.